Bimmy up over gaming. What? Rimmy's been put in the mod. You mother. He doesn't even play Hearts of Iron. He hasn't played it for years. Bimmy up over gaming. What about Rambler? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. It's me, Alex. So, what are we doing today? We are going to be playing the Hearts of Malta mod, which basically just t uh, gives Malta a focus tree, because there we go. <laughs> Malta, a British colony in the heart of the Mediterranean Sea, has a lot to offer. Oh. From a very small island to the biggest tower in the world, who knows what Malta can do? What? Gerald Strickland is making sure that the island stays together, but for how long can he do it? The future of Malta is now uncertain, with a lot of disorder hitting the poor island. But remember, Malta is strong, and Malta is proud. Good Maltese pride. Jetpacks. An intellectual man named Leon Tusk came to the Maltese government to petition the idea of a commercial jet-powered backpack. Oh my gosh, what is this? It's time for Malta to become what it always meant to be. And we've got independence movements. So... This is where this is where we'll be playing from today. Historical AI? Nah, let's not worry about that. Non-historical AI, because when does that ever go wrong, right? Malta awakens. It is time for Malta to become what it was always meant to be. There is a lot of work ahead of us, but Malta shall prevail. The 20th century will be Malta's century. Ow. We start in the Allies. Uh, I think we're a puppet, probably. We're a Dominion. Uh, we've got the Malta Command, which... Brilliant. <sighs> We are producing one gun a day. This is a meme, meme mod, right? It's just meant for a laugh. You having a laugh? A storm is about to hit Europe. Fightings between all those greedy powers will take place all over the world, but more importantly in Europe and Africa. And who's in the middle of both these continents? Malta, situated at the heart of the Mediterranean Sea. We should not be considered a minor power. Malta could play a very important role in the upcoming storm. Oh. Our time is coming. Wait, was that the Paradox office that they had there? Oh my gosh. The never-ending tower. What the f***? <laughs> the Maltese strategy. Our goal is to find a way to make Malta into a powerful country. We have sent researchers and surveyors around our island to figure out how to do exactly that. Long live the tower. See, you... I, I guess all, some of you know what this is. What this is. I have no idea. The tower is OP. Well, we've got to get the tower then, haven't we? I don't, I don't know, I don't know anything about the mod, so I'm going in blind, so please don't spoiler it for me. If it's, if it's a, if it's a fun mod, please, please. Politics on the island have been relatively pro-British until independence movements started to rise up, mostly from the European political scene. And then we'll do the elections. Ah, I see. The mod thinks socialism is communism. <laughs> cool, alright. Uh, constitutional party, we've got the independent party. Do you know what? Let's have the independent. The Sovereign Military Order of Malta, led by Yorgi Prekker. What the f***? Okay, that's probably a bad idea. That's quite the portrait. I have no- it just seems confused. Like, what the f***? He's a Maltese Catholic priest. Oh my gosh. Malta's second father in faith. He's now leader of the independents. Oh! Oh! Germany. Alright. We begin construction of the tower. Germany's embroiled in civil war. Well, now we've got something to look at. The Maltese strategy. Today was an important day in Malta. After a few meetings, a strategy proposed to definitely change the destiny of the country. A tower. It could go as high as we want and be protected from enemy assaults. Many are sceptical about such an ambitious project, but for once all political parties in present have agreed on one thing. It could lead Malta to its deserved greatness. Study St Elmo Bridge. This is such, a, such an odd mod. The St Elmo Bridge is a single span arched trush steel footbridge leading from the foreshore of the Fort St Elmo and Valletta to the breakwater at the entrance of the Great Harbour. Okay, it's key to our success. Alright, we'll study the windows. Sure! The azure window, known as the Wurjra window, is a 28 metre tall natural arch on the island of Gozo. Our knowledge grows stronger. Study the Dingley Cliffs! <laughs> The Dingle Dangles. Dingley is a village in the northern region of Malta. Its cliffs are deemed to be unbreakable. Well, there you go. Let's adopt a new strategy then. We need a new strategy to transform the sovereign military order of Malta into a prosperous and iconic island. We must build a tower. It will solve all the problems. And it sounds catchy. Maybe we'll make Italy pay for it. Oh my god. Each floor should be uh, set to host a considerable amount of population. It should also have space for a factory of any kind. It should also be protected from air attacks with hidden anti-air guns. It should also find a way to sustain itself in resources and money. Oh my gosh. The first floor. Birth of the tower. <laughs> the reception floor. Um, okay. I should research planes so we can fly and stare at our tower. 
Birth of the tower. The construction of the tower has officially begun! With the first floor seeing workers from all over Malta coming to work on it. Everyone is having a big expectations, but is also fearing the worst. We will go high. Oh, we can upgrade the tower. What the f***? Oh, we can get bitcoins. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be rich. Hold on. Shores of the Mediterranean. This is what we can... What the heck? The first floor has been finished. I have no idea what I'm doing. But it's glowing! Oh my god, I can go to the second floor. Yes. This floor contains the world's l largest buffet filled with delicious foods from around the world. <gasps> Good. First floor built and being a major success. Uh, we now have to repeat the process. Simply taking the first floor an example shouldn't be too hard. Although it's only the second floor, many are already questioning the tower. What? How dare you question the tower? You don't question the tower. The tower questions you. First indoor water park. Huh? Oh my gosh. Two floors. Three floors. Why am I doing this to myself? I must build the tower. I must get bitcoins for the tower. You don't understand. I need bitcoins. The colonial question. The people have chosen independent. Wait. Oh, I thought they said loyalty to bitcoin then. No. Uh, <laughs> independence. A weird looking person named Mark Zuckerberg has, been, has taken office into the 10th floor. Oh no. Forming our intelligence agency. Oh, he claims to take the private information of foreign citizens and make them valuable to us. What can go wrong? He looks like a lizard alien. <laughs> no. What it? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> sure, we have the lizard alien Zuckerberg in the Tower of Malta. I love this. This is amazing. Building the 10th floor. The tower, although being a major success, is also becoming a source of debt that will soon reach unbearable levels. Uh-oh. Even so, it was decided to keep the building until the 10th floor and the government... Directly provided all the gold needed. Anyone knows how to make fake gold? The USA. Attract investors. We need to build the 10th floor. Okay, let's try and build the 10th floor. Let's upgrade the tower. There we go. The tower will be saved! Here we go. The government finally recognised their mistake and how out of control the financial situation was going. They decided to organise a last chance meeting asking everyone for help and ideas. Alright. So that means we can finally get one of the tower investors, right? So we can get Luke Surge, or we can get Zand Leonardis. I'm probably going to go and uh, wait till I have 500 PP, and it's, we're going to get it pretty quickly. So I'm just going to wait till I do a national focus to get to get Luke Surge. Started plans to improve the economy. I f have what the journey. Oh, Yorgi Prekka on a journey, a journey for the good of the tower. This is such an odd mod. Oh, why can't I prove our leader is not on a journey? How do it? Come back from the journey. Oh, never mind. He's back. Did he get any dick Bitcoin? Dick coin? <laughs> Did he get any dick coin? He spent most of his time studying the architecture of different towers around the world. It was later discovered that a man from Uruguay was the one in charge of the construction and the well-being of the tower. So I can now um, improve the economy, finding new ways to finance the tower. Today in the headquarters of the tower, Yorgi Prekka asked for two Big Macs and three quarter pounder with cheese. To what seven answered, we only have two carrots and one potato, sir. In fact, the tower is accumulating so many debts that the economy is crumbling. Oh, sh**. He heard about pirate stories which gave him ideas, but he is from the government. He cannot be linked to illegal activities, right? Let's keep the tower economy going. So let's um, get tower specialist, which gives us two weekly gold, food, jewelries, and diamonds. We can do privateering, fishing, or coastal raids. I don't know what I want to do this time. This will deflect blame to South Africa. Very nice. Yeah, let's do the coastal raids and, and blame this, blame South Africa. <laughs> Yorgi Prekka. Here we go. Pirate Baron. So not only is he a priest, he's also a pirate baron. You're in Maltese water. Thus, it is legal. The League of Nations has been spying our government. What? Julie Giuliani? Oh, no. No. Will represent us in an international court. Oh. F <laughs> Giuliani's going to represent us. We're going to prison, aren't we? Everything we do is fair and legal. Okay, so we're doing privateering. Brilliant. The 50th floor. Wow. Let's keep building. Oh, jeez. You can buy factories. And manpower. Oh, this is brilliant. We can buy oil. We can buy steel. What do I need? Steel. Unlimited power. This is amazing. I love this mod now. More units. <laughs> Mortar will be defended. This is so weird. That I can just buy stuff. Bam. Jetpacks! Yes! I love me some jetpacks. Who doesn't love jetpacks? Let's fly! 
Weekly gold gain, weekly food gain, weekly jewelries, and weekly diamonds. Diamond hands. We just need bitcoins. Okay, so elevators are reserved for prisoners and people that are way too happy in general. Although accidents have increased by 500%, uh, Yorgi Prekka congratulated everyone and especially the Bitcoin guy. Oh my gosh. Oh, we can do coastal raids. Oh, this is hilarious. Let's send everything. Everything we have. Let's start a bit. Let's do a coastal raid. Make with the pirate focus and you will gain gold. Gold! Yeah, you get gold and diamonds. Yeah, it's better than jewelries and diamonds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Private ceiling! What am I lacking at the moment? Which resources? Steel! We'll buy some steel. Oh, we can buy more resources. Let's get some tungsten. And oil! Malta will have the largest oil reserves in the world. <laughs> Look at this! Let's recruit the Yanitor. One woman here since the beginning is proving to be a good general. She was the first one to believe in the tower and officially the first one to get a job in the tower. <gasps> The tower in the Sovereign Military Order of Malta has reached its greatest extent at 50 floors. Oh my gosh. We're so high. Who can even reach us now? Yup. Oh man, I'm going to get so chonky. I might actually get strong enough to invade people. Wouldn't that be a treat? I'm working on the Yanator. Then we're going to work on getting more than 50 floors. Sweet, sweet gold. Uh, rapid growth of population in the tower. Uh-oh. All right, what's the population of Malta now? In the tower that's 50 stories high. 1.26 million. Wow. Let's uh, do the 100th floor, maybe. The Australian-born Bimmy Up Over Gaming. What? Rimmy's been put in the mod. You mother... He doesn't even play Hearts of Iron. He hasn't played it for years. Bimmy Up Over Gaming. What about Rambler? Gains claim on all shores of the Mediterranean Sea. Okay. It's got me. The mod's got me. Malta will become a world empire. I, I, I'm going to try and make it so... Privateering report. Sweet, sweet gold. Thank you. There we go. 62 floors. Very nice. The mar Maritime Squadron of the Armed Forces of Mo Ha. Oh. How many of these can I get? The Leaning Tower. Uh-oh. We've had an earthquake. What does this mod add? It adds the f Tower of Malta, mate. Are you opposing the tower and its glory? It will end you. All hail the tower. Uh-oh. Floor price increases 20 to gold. <laughs> Leaning Tower of Malta. A 7.1 magnitude earthquake hit Malta. Wow. It just looks so confused by this. I have enough factories that I'm a major now. Oh, I can leave the faction. I can leave the allies if I want to. Nice. Majors are defined by factories, yeah. I mean, I've got 69. But uh, if you have 50, you're a major. The never-ending tower. Calling the tower colossal is underwhelming. And this is the tallest man-made structure ever built on Earth. Good. So... 23,500 people are going to go... Oh, no. 23,000 are going to go privateering. <laughs> Good. Make the tower larger. Make it stronger. The tower shall rise. It shall grow even more erect than ever before. Who doesn't love an erect tower? There we go. The Yanitor. Invasion defense plus 75%. Wow. She's the Yanitor. Yanitor? She's the janitor. The only one. And she will make sure the tower does not fall. The Great Crusade, here we go. Gains claims on all states needed to proclaim the nation of crusaders. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how we're meant to get here though. Like to do the crusades because it's owned by the UK and uh, France. So, bit of a pickle. Oh cool. Now is my chance to reclaim lands. I mean, I still don't have a fleet. But, uh, I mean, we might as well, right? Oh, what? Kick me out of the faction. Dicks. More floors. More civilian factories. More oil. <laughs> 100 floors. There we are. Very Nash. All right, here we go. Let's start World War II, shall we? Oh, the UK's on our side too. All right, well, does anywhere have a port that I can name? Uh, shall I just... What's Italy doing? Maybe I'll just do that instead. I will cause chaos. The tower. Where is the tower? Upgrade it. I must have aluminium. More dockyards. More manpower. I have a tower to the moon. That's where we're going. First Sicily, then the moon. Well, our navy's getting wrecked, isn't it? We lost. We'll just keep building up. I get. Oh no, here we go. Oh no, they're gonna clap us again. Oh my god, we might win a naval engagement. Hey, we got them. Uh, and the Spanish are also trying to naval invade Malta. This is where the fun begins. Okay, they're starting to lose a lot now. <laughs> With just my ships sailing around, we're just going around bashing stuff. 
Uh, I, feel, I have a feeling that the naval bombers are going to start doing stuff as well. Enemy ships bombed. Oh, oh, here they come again. Oh, okay, nice, nice. Oh no, we're starting to lose stuff there. It will take a while, but eventually we'll bleed them to the point where they can't really oppose us much. Like, we're losing a lot, but I don't even know why they're even attempting to naval invade. So these troops are going to die, I think, unless they're... He's walking out of the tile. He's walked out of the tile?! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I'm on... <laughs> why, aren't, why aren't they all going? Why aren't they going? Well, they're all dead. It's fine. There are plenty more people in the tower. Eventually, the Italians won't even have a navy. What? Why am I getting this? All right. I'll take it. Malta's got Belgium. <laughs> I'm going to change it back to back to France. We're going to we're going to try and invade North Africa now. Invade over here and then just try and build a port for ourselves before we die. So I'm sacri I'm willing to sacrifice all of these troops as well. My elite marines. I'm being defeated all the time. How? Put up another 400 fighters. You have nothing to threaten me with, Italy. All right. Well, off these fellows go. <coughs> all shall fear me. Hey, we encircled some Italians. Got him. Oh, Cairo fell. Oh, Cairo fell. Am I at war with the Soviets? I'm not, actually. I don't want to get involved with this. Oh, never mind. We're at war with them now. I'm at war with the UK as well. Oh dear. I think I may have messed that one up a little bit. I'm not sure what I did there. What? Why are the Italians so sh Why hasn't France capitulated yet? Why won't you die? How'd you get manpower as Malta? The tower. Oh, the tower. More floors for the tower. Two million manpower for the tower. Oh, we're going up against uh, Turkey now as well. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's just keep them at El Alamein. Oh, the USA's coming in. Uh-oh. It would be hilarious if we could take out Italy. We overran some of them. What has happened to Italy? Malta's taken Rome, boyos. Next stop, capitulation, do you think? Uh, well, nearly. Can't believe France haven't gone yet. Should I just try and naval invade Toulon? With two... Oh, they already have capitulated. Oh, but they kept all of their... Div oh, no, it's all of Italy's divisions. Oh! Time to take... Oh, <laughs> yes! There we go. Uh, we've taken Italy as Malta. I control most of France as Malta. Malta is king of the Mediterranean. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Please go and deal with that Germany. Please go and deal with that Germany. Please go and deal with that Germany. All right, let's go show the Soviets how it's done, shall we? We just need a bit of time. If I can get a peace deal against the Soviets, that would be grand. All right, we're here. Did we take Moscow? Moscow has been taken. Cut off the oil fields. Where did the Germans go? Oh, for <coughs> sake. F <coughs> in the arse with a wrench. Like, it, it, it's just ridiculous. Like, where, where... Where did they go? They just decided to yeet out. That They've left me here! As well! Where have they gone? This is what I'm saying to that. Bye. <laughs> if the Germans are abandoning me, I'm abandoning them, dicks. I don't think we're going to get a, uh, a peace deal, unfortunately. If Germany didn't decide to yeet out when they were still having to do it... I just... I don't understand the AI. Again, you ally with AI and and you just it just it just never works. You, 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 every time. Every time. It just screws you. It just screws you. The AI just screws you. It's like, oh yeah, well uh, he's got a few divisions there now. Let's let's move everything away. Like what the just just bruh. Don't ally with AI Germany. That's it. That's the key. Every time. I never learn. I never learn. Why do I never learn? Don't ally with AI Germany because this shit happens. I was doing very well as Malta in the Mida Morsi. Um. <laughs> oh well. It's just a fun little. It's just a fun little Mimi mod, isn't it? That's okay though. We had fun. Uh, I think that Malta clearly is the master of the Mediterranean. Um. <laughs> we control the whole of the Mediterranean Sea. It's just the rest of the shit we, we, we're not very secure in. I don't know, I feel fairly secure. I mean, look at Serbia. Look at them chunky, bo chunky boys.
What the heck have they done here? The entire Mexican army is surrounded and is going to die in Bulgaria. Oh dear. Well, farewell Mexico. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I can't. I can't. Yeah, yeah. This scenario is is just going to be an absolute ball ache for the next several hours. So I'm resigning as Malta. I'm just going to stay in my tower and forget about the world. <laughs> So what did we manage to do? Uh, we ended up capitulating Italy. We took over North Africa. We did have France, but whatever. Uh, we allied with Germany, which was that was our big mistake. So yeah, when in doubt, blame Germany. But yeah, thank you for everyone tuning in. Appreciate it. And take care. Toodaloo! Mwah! Many thanks to Onion Duck, Sean Zoltek, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Anya Egan, Zachariah Mosby, Chancellor64, Jack Trochu, Jiggly Crotch, Logan Whaley, Nice OJ, Rezel Puffington, Tab House, The Secret Police, Val Hall, Vash, Warren P. George, and Yaboy for being ridiculous Ram supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!